pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The group in society now that has um, much anxiety, it seems, and much concern are those in their 20s. You know, we, I, when I was growing up, it usually was the high school and early college people who had that kind of thing, and maybe uh, it takes a little bit longer to grow up these days, but, uh, and for the most part, for the last, uh, you know, for much, that much of the time when people used to go in and say they had anxiety or they had a uh, other things they were dealing with, maybe a little depression and so forth, um, you know, many doctors would give medication. Oh, you're a little bit depressed, here's a pill. Oh, you have a this little thing, here you are. And of course, uh, you know, uh, poor doctors can't have a lot of time with their patients. Uh, but uh, the, uh, I've been reading recently that uh, there was uh, many um, psychotherapists and therapists uh, have now kind of said, uh, we shouldn't do that too often unless it's an actual uh, something that they're dealing with, like chronic uh, depression or chronic anxiety. Uh, but uh, we ought to just see it as living. And that when you live, you have anxiety and you have a little depression and sometimes there's some malaise and it's something that you deal with. And as you deal with it, you can uh, do better. So for the 20 year olds, uh, many times they don't have much of a uh, a sense of uh, purpose and you know they play a lot of games and uh, they wonder what they're going to do with their life and they have anxiety if they're ever going to have a family and uh, of course uh, what they do is uh, uh, escape more and so therapists have tried to do uh, things to help them to uh, regain some purpose one of them I noticed in a book is cooking and they're trying to get the uh, 20 year olds to, to cook you know, because, well, you know, mom always did it, and they didn't have to do it, and it seems to give them a sense of purpose. Or, you know, they have a, uh, uh, you know, they're worried about their job or something like that, and, and so they uh, go to classes, and even uh, part of it is that they uh, tend to be alone. A lot of them, uh, you know, have some kind of superficial relationships, but no strong relationships, and the, some of the relationships they have, they maybe party a lot, and I know one therapist I was reading uh, told him to go to church, you know. In other words, have a community, have somebody that has a common purpose with you. And, and I guess it's, uh, it was successful for many of the her, th her people that she had. I say this because oftentimes we worry about things. And today's uh, first reading from King of Kings is uh, a wonderful reading. And uh, Elijah said, uh, how long are you going to straddle? Are you for God or are you for Baal? You know, they got 450 prophets of Baal, and uh, I'm the prophet, the last living prophet. And, uh, you, know, uh, you know, who are you going to follow? When are you going to make a decision? And, of course, uh, what he's talking about is all the false gods, the gods that sometimes take up our attention so much we forget about God. We forget about who really started everything for us, who's given us. You know, I go into classrooms when I was uh, active, and one of the things uh, the kids um, always had a sense of complaining sometimes. They said, well, gee, they always felt a little ripped off. You know, why don't I have this, or why don't I have that, or why does Johnny have this game, and I don't have the pair, new pair of tennis shoes, and I told them, remind them that they've already won the lottery. I mean, they're alive. They're living. They have the great gift of life, you know. They have a chance in this world uh, to find salvation. And, uh, and of course, uh, uh, some of them kind of started to see it a little bit that way. So I guess today when Jesus uh, is asked about, uh, you know, uh, what is he going to do? He came to fulfill everything. He has a, a lot of uh, confidence in us. And he expects us to be and live up to the image and likeness of God. He, and so he says, I'm not going to, uh, not one letter of the law would be done away with. 
you know, we uh, know that uh, uh, that's true. There was uh, maybe a minimalism that was being kind of preached by the, uh, and lived by many of the Jewish people, and he uh, kind of put that aside and said, no, minimalism, you know, maximal, you know, try to uh, be like a, well, God himself. You know, try to be like me with self-sacrifice. Try to have a purpose about what you're trying to do. So I think today's reading, especially that first reading, uh, is rather dramatic. Uh, but are we going to straddle? In times, you know, even though we're not in our 20s anymore, it doesn't look like many of you are, uh, we have a, a sense that we have to kind of have a purpose. A purpose, uh, something that draws us out of ourselves. Uh, something that uh, we would sacrifice for. You know, something that uh, becomes part and parcel of our life. And I think today's uh, reading, Elijah asked a question that maybe we get, have to ask ourselves, how long do we straddle the issue? You know, how long do we kind of hedge our bets? How long do we really do what we want to do and not really follow what the Lord wants us to do? And of course, uh, Christ uh, gave no comfort to his apostles. He said every letter of the law would be fulfilled. And of course it was. And that's the way Christ is, and it's a wonderful little lesson that Elijah uh, kind of uh, showed uh, the Israelites and also the followers of Baal today in that first reading. We stand now and offer our prayers and petitions to our God in heaven. For the church, that with the help of the Holy Spirit, we may better discern God's will so that we may follow it wholeheartedly and sincerely, making the kingdom increasingly present here on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may work tirelessly to drive out evil in the world, choosing hope and action over cynicism and apathy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have no home, or whose home is unsafe, unhealthy, or unstable, that they may experience God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For unity among our brothers and sisters in Christ, that we may give witness to our common baptism through dialogue and collabor collaboration. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For students at every level who have graduated or are graduating, that they may take pride in their accomplishments and never lose the joy of learning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and redemption, you show us the way to live. Guide us to show mercy to our sisters and brothers and redeem them by our forgiveness. Grant this in all our prayers to the one who showed us the way, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.